Hello guys! Time for another video again. Yes, I was searching around the house and I found some ignition coils. These are normal old car ignition coils. This one has a resistor. I don't know how many ohms the resistor is, don't send anything. But I think it's something about one or two ohms. And I'm going to use these ignition coils to start those xenon lamps. Yes, here we got one. Here's a nice xenon lamp. Of course, I always keep the protecting, protecting, protecting shielding on. That's important. That's a high pressure inside them. And yes, connect the anode here, cathode there. So I have to find a good way to start these things. But we are not going to talk about uh, xenon lamp starters in this video. This video will be something else. So I'm going to remove these ignition coils. And I'm going to put the ignition coil right here. Like so. Now I can see it pretty well. Yes, there we go. That's an old ignition coil. And uh, what are we going to do with it now? Actually nothing. That's a size comparison. There we got ignition coils. Look at those two big things. That's what I call ignition coil. Not that. So here we actually got two potential transformers, those are Janne transformers. <laughs> don't know why I call them Janne transformers. Of course we called, so you see there, Jannite Muntaja, that's in Eng English, <laughs> Finnish. That is actually potential or voltage transformers. So those two are connected in series. I guess how the inputs are connected, or inputs, they're actually outputs, but, but now they are inputs. Got the wire, this comes from here to here. And now 90% of you have said that that is connected in a series, but it's not. That's the neutral wire right here. If somebody saw that, that uh, goes actually to another connector down here, let's go to the neutral. The red ones are phases. That phase goes to a MOT ballast. And that goes up to that plug or socket. And this one goes to another MOT ballast, shorted out of course. That one goes up to that socket. 400 volts, two phase are going into those two potential transformers. And of course, it will be 230 volts on that one and 230 volts on that one. But actually, in the previous video, it was 133 volts because we got the ballast. So yes, none of these wires are rated for high voltage. So that's why I was using these insulators that goes up here, goes down to another insulator. And over here, insulator goes into that one. Just into the hole and into the potential transformer. So let's do some arcs and see how they look like. So I actually need to flip two switches here. And most interestingly is to see how those meters behave. That's the most important thing. Especially that one. Kilovolt amp reactive. That's the important meter here. Because that will behave differently, I think. Yes, here we go. Sadly, sadly, this is the best view I can get it. Here we got high voltage. I'm going to turn on one transformer. That's one kilowatt. No, not one kilowatt. That's one kilovolt amp reactive. I looked at the wrong meter. That's another one. 500 watts. Nearly two kilovolt amp reactive. You're going to look at those meters later. Crackling everywhere. So 
has a 40 centimeter arc. Pulls nearly more than 2 kilowatts. Listen to that. Yes, and those ballasts ballast it to a little bit over 2 kilowatts. It's nearly more than 40 centimeter long arc. That's one transformer. It's actually going through a, another transformer. So two transformers here. One ballast and one turned on. So that's a sparkling. That's almost two kilovolts. 20 kilovolts. Jumps a gap on two centimeters. And now they are turned off. So yes, let's now have a look on those meters. I'm going to turn on that one. And after that I'm going to turn on that one. Let's have a look on those meters. Kilovolt amp reactive and kilowatts. That's another transformer. Almost no kilowatts here. Nothing. But look at that. There's a lot of wasted power right there. And I'm going to pull the arc. And now I'm going to short it. That's a lot of reactive power. That does not anything. That just blows the fuse. Huge arcs coming out of that. Nice transformers. Turn off the light. Yes, this is how it works. Two transformers, two times the fun. And soon it will be three transformers. Three times the fun. Three phase arc. What do you think of that? It will not come soon because a lot of those things are not complete yet. But until summer I think I'm going to make it work. Three phase arc. And it's they are turned off. Then the primary on these transformers are extremely warm. Yes, that's definitely hot. Not these ones. So nice and cool. Yes, then this one. Remember that the coil is a bit loose. <laughs> Yes, here we got it. Two face arc. That's how it, what this is. Thanks for watching.